very, very different. So let's let's talk about logistics. Um, do we have a consensus that we're going to try and do this all on one day, or should we do it over two days for safety's sake? Well, if, if we're going to be doing this outside of class, I don't, if we can record the video outside of class, then... I don't think we are anymore. I think that we've, so we've decided we're definitely... Class, we're yeah. Doing in the class. yeah, I think if you want to do a practice video outside of class, not just something yeah. that's a good idea. And if you want him to see that ahead of time and you, you send it to him or send him a way to look at it, I think that's a great idea. I also, I mean, YouTube allows for you to simply reply with a video reply to all the videos. So you could sort of have something set up, and we haven't talked about this, and I don't mean to drop this in your lap, but um, you could have something where you decide to have a discussion on YouTube based on these videos as a peer-to-peer -peer critique, you know, and that could be your own video so that you go through the process. Maybe that could be like a, a credit thing, like you did this or you didn't do this. But Well, if you're going to do these on Tuesday, on Thursday, you can get together and do this other video right. without John to see whether you can, you can get that together. I mean, that would be, you know, we can certainly get you into the room. So we're going to be in here one at, one at, one at a time? I don't think it has to be, but it, uh, it can be a distraction if you have five people in here who have nothing to do with your presentation. So it, the way that we did it last time was everybody else waited outside until it was their turn. Um, but we're, it's going to be tight, essentially, because if we're talking about 2 to 3, if, if somebody can show up at 2 o'clock and we go straight through to 310, then that means essentially we have like a minute and a half per person to, to for, cro yeah, for crossover. So what happens before this class for anybody? So anybody has nothing before this class? On Thursday is nothing but uh, on Thursday nothing but on Tuesday you have, to, you have nothing before the class so you could go as early as twenty of two if you if you could come that early right if you could do that I mean that really solves the problem for us because um, it means that we can essentially just keep on going through to three ten and um, if you all show up if you show up at twenty to two. And if everybody else shows up at their normal time, or you know, as close to 22 as possible. Do you have a class after? Is there, is there anyone that does not have a class after? I don't have a class after. You don't have a class after, so you should go last. But basically, I mean, you you should have a schedule amongst yourselves where you know you're you're all going in turn. Um, I don't think that we have to prescribe that for you. I think you can work it out, your adults. So um, I would say I'll expect you at 20 to two. We'll do yours. Do you on have Tuesday. any on Tuesday? That's right. Do you have any idea of, of what your content's going to be right now? I'm thinking of skit. You're thinking of skit. So are you going to need more than one person for your skit? Okay. And is that going to take place in this room we're talking about? Okay. Um, are you going to need to like move about in your skit, or is this going to be like you at you and another person at a table, or? Okay. You just have to think about it because we have some constraints in this room. It's not like you can take a running jump, you know. It's, it's so, you know, you just have to take into consideration that if you're trying to get some sort of a mood going about your skit, that we have books in the background that we're not going to be able to take off the shelves. And we have a table in here that we're not going to be able to take out of the room. Just take those things into consideration. Um, who else has an idea of what they're presenting? What are you going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I was trying to okay. Yes. Mine's probably going to be just a, um, a one-man skit. It's probably going to be kind of like a dialogue with myself oh, as cool. two different people. Love it. And it doesn't sound like there's a lot of logistics attached to that. So, um, And you don't have to do something extravagant. I mean, you can make a stand-up presentation really great. But um, just keep in mind, if it's something like, if, if it's anything that's not going to be recorded with this camera, like if it's anything in, involving a PowerPoint, this is going to be difficult to do, and it means that we have to find a secondary way to solve that problem, which I have plans for that. Um, one of the ways that we can do that, for example, is to use this uh, product called the Jing Project that essentially is like a screencasting tool that um, records your screen and records your voice at the same time. But it also means that your, your face is not going to be a part of that, and I'm not going to do a recording on here of your face and a recording on the screen of your PowerPoint and your voice and somehow like get into this big editing project. That's not what it's about. It's about finding a way to present yourself in a simple way. 
using video. Um, trying to get as much of the presentation into a recorded format as we can. There's a big challenge there because if, you, if you're doing fireworks, it's really hard to capture the excitement of fireworks on this or on your screen. You know what I mean? You, you really have to find a way to get your personality across. That's what, that's what the challenge of video is, is really that we're relegating ourselves to the full screen. You know, and we're more than the little screen. How do you how do you make the more come about? How do you make the more come out? Questions? Concerns? You all have a YouTube account? Okay. If you don't, you should. Um, Seriously, everybody's got one. Yes. <coughs> okay. See, that's very different, isn't it? Yeah. If if you don't, you you need to. And um, what you should probably do just for the heck of it, is my last name, which is my username on my email address, is also my username on YouTube. You should try and associate yourselves with me, like befriend me on YouTube. Then, yeah. And um, so, it's cool. Yeah, this is cool, everybody. So, like, uh, I'm like thinking about all the time that we just saved by everybody getting on and doing this now. And, um, the nice thing about this is, with a little bit of knowledge, we, we go up far away. So just do a, just go to youtube.com slash lamasney, L-E-M-A-S-N-E-Y. Oh, you got him. Good for you. L-E-M-A-S-N-E-Y. Yeah. Everybody's got it? Justin, you okay? Yeah, so like on that screen, you can subscribe to me, but that's actually not the same necessarily as befriending me. If you go to my profile or down below where it says connect with, say add as friend. That way it's like if we do decide to make any of this stuff private, I don't have an issue with trying to find you, which was like a huge big issue before. All right, so I'll be here next week, 20 to 2, and we'll start going by 3 o'clock. Um, we'll have all the recording done, and since I'm using this device, it's relatively easy to get the videos off and just get them up. Um, so uh, theoretically, I should have them up by that night. Let's talk about privacy for a second. So does anybody have any concerns with having this video be up online? It's available to the world. Should they know about it? Should they know about it? Well, if we upload it to our account, we can delete it at any time. Well, no, because this is going to be on my account just because I only have access to my account to upload the video. So you can tell, you can delete it? I can delete it. Yeah. I probably won't, but I could. I can make it private at any time, but because it's um, for the purposes of this class, it really is. After I make the video, I'll decide if I want private or public or not. I'm sorry? After I make the video, I'll decide. How do we, I'm sorry, how do we add you? Do we go to subscribe? How can we get the videos from you? You can go to the site and you, there are tools that you can, yeah, you can get them. You can't do it using YouTube's built-in tools, but you can, you can, um, if you use Firefox, for example, you, there's a tool called Video Download Helper. And a, a, an extension called Video Download Helper. You can install that and then rip it right off of the screen. Do you know if Opera has anything like that? I don't think so. Um, but there are other ways that you can do it. There are some sites that actually you put in the embed code for the YouTube video, and it'll just send you an MPEG for the video. You can also use something like Miro, which is um, a podcast a podcatcher. And if you subscribe to my RSS feed, you'd be able to, you would automatically download all of my videos. So. I have to use Google ripping YouTube. Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay. Because you're not the first person to ever ask that question. Yeah. We all love Google. Okay. Any other questions while he's still here? Because he's going to leave and then I'm not going to. I have a PowerPoint question about it. Yeah.